this is my Twitter account. None of these tweets I have made, this is all generated by AI and it's on an automatic posting system that posts every three hours on the hour. So this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this auto Twitter posting bot. So it's done in make.com and I call this the Twitter posting system. So let's take a look at this, let's see what's going on. The Twitter posting system is four steps. Step one is a random topic selector. Step two is a random tone selector. Step three is a post generator by ChatGPT. And then step four is a post to Twitter. So let's take a look at each of these steps individually. Okay, so step one is the random topic selector. So when I click on this, this is what's going on in the variable value. So we are using the topic picker variable on a one cycle. And if you want to pause the video here, you can see what's going on with our variable value. Okay, what we're doing is we're creating a list of several topics that's going to be randomly selected. So right here, I have about 20 something topics. And it's all related to what I want my Twitter profile to be about. So we got AI automation, automating business workflows. This is something that I do and my company does. Lead management automation, sales funnel automation, real estate agent automation, scrolling down here, bubble development, web dev, we're automating life, AI customer service, list goes on and on and on and on. Okay, so that's step one. So it's gonna randomly select one of those topics. Step two, it's gonna randomly select the tone of the tweet. And we got the same kind of list array here, but instead of topics, we have different tones. So we have professional, witty, funny, intelligent, smart, fun, humble, learning, excited, direct, happy, friendly. And I just got a list of these from ChatGPT. I typed in um, how, give me a list of a bunch of tones. And I just pick the ones that I want for. That's step two. Step three, it sends them to chat GPT for the post generator. And what we're using is the model we're using GPT-4 and we're using the chat model. And I'm gonna give you a look at the prompt here. So what we're doing is we're creating a tweet that will increase my Twitter followers. We're gonna write a tweet that includes, and it's gonna shuffle. So it's gonna randomly select what one of the topics that we picked in step one. Okay, so that's the first part of the prompt. Second part of the prompt is now we're gonna write the tweet using the tone and we look in here and it's randomly shuffling something in the, okay. Next part of the prompt is we're gonna consider that character limit of the platform, trending hashtags, emotive language, and a call to action. And then the constraints, because we do need a few constraints because Twitter, Twitter posts, you can't just post thousands of words. There are some things. So they are, you do not include, you do not include pretext or context. You only return the Twitter post. Sometimes GPT-4 will tell you, oh, this is a Twitter post, type the Twitter post, and then um, you can post this on the platform at this time. No, we just want the tweet. Second constraint is make sure your response doesn't exceed 270 characters. There's another way I, I make sure that that happens in the next step. Uh, number, th uh, number three constraint, we're gonna write at least 200 characters. We want this to be somewhat of a large tweet. And number four, it was we don't wanna use quotation marks because GPT spits out a lot of uh, quotation, marks around, quotation marks around their post. Okay, if I'm gonna scroll up here, if you use GPT 3.5 Turbo, it's not gonna listen to your prompt as well as GPT 4. Yes, GPT 4 is more expensive, but it is worth it in the end. So I always select GPT. Okay, scrolling down here, this is the big one to make sure it fits inside the tweet. If it is larger, if your response is larger than what the Twitter post character limit is, it's going to give an error and it's not gonna post the tweet. So I chose max tokens of 60. How did I choose that? If we go to the tokenizer, and then I go to one of my tweets. Let's take this one, for example. And let's try to post this again, but let's try to go over the limit. Let's do like hashtag bubble, hashtag chat GPT. Okay, see, we are over the limit and this would give an error in the make.com workflow and we can't post it. So I'm gonna copy all of this and I'm going to paste it here. And it says it's about 68 tokens. So 
To be safe, I drop that down to 60 tokens. That makes sure that we're never ever gonna hit that Twitter character limit. That's the six tokens. And the one temperature is gonna keep it kind of direct to our prompt. And then we just want one response and then that's empty. That's okay, we're gonna click okay here. And then the final step, go into Twitter. I've connected my Twitter account and what the text content of the post is going to be. It's going to be the choices of number three and it's gonna be that message content. So all in all, that's the four steps of the auto tweet poster. Last thing to do is to schedule it. Um, to schedule, you just click this clock here and I chose at regular intervals and I like to do every 180 minutes. That means every three hours on the day. You can choose a posting schedule that works best for your account. So right now, let's just run it once to see what happens. Okay, it's running. You can see the timer is working. It's working in the first one, second one, third one. Shout out to the fourth one. There we go. Now we go up here, discard this post. 10 seconds ago, there it chose a sales funnel automation topic and it gave you that right there. So there you go. That was the automatic tweet that was posted. This was completely free. I made this all with the make.com free tier. The only thing that we're getting charged is the OpenAI GPT-4 costs. Uh, let's take a look at what those costs are gonna be. All right, I'm in my OpenAI account and I'm looking at my daily usage and it, this auto Twitter bot's been running for two days. And this is including all of my testing that I did yesterday. So we're looking at roughly 10 or five to 10 cents per day to run this Twitter bot, which is let's say 7.5 cents per day times 30 days. It's gonna cost $2 per month to run your auto Twitter bot. But if that's giving you leads, that's getting you impressions, that's getting you followers, that's getting you eyes on your product, I think that's I'm going to paste this entire workflow in the description below so you can just, so you can just download it and import it directly into your make.com account. No need to set this up, but if you want to walk through, you can watch this video again and you can see exactly how it's done. So yeah, thanks for watching.